Are you interested in a career in the agricultural field? The next generation of agricultural scientists will help farmers battle tougher weeds, handle extreme weather, and grow more to meet an ever-increasing global demand for food. Why should you consider ag science? Because there's an ever-increasing demand for food worldwide every day, and not enough professionals to go around. This is a field that's looking for a crop of new talent, and it could be you. Agronomists spend a lot of time in the field, rather than the laboratory. They're the test drivers of the ag science world because they take new varieties and technologies and find out how they perform in the field. Dr. Tom Eubank works for the Mississippi State Extension Service. Agronomy in general is the study of agriculture. Uh, it, it's what we describe the research and the academics evolved in trying to identify practices that promote uh, better crops, better production, uh, etc. Agronomists frequently conduct cooperative research with other specialists to determine the effectiveness of new plant varieties and production techniques in order to make farming more efficient and increase yields. There are a lot of opportunities for wherever your interest lies. If you like doing things in the lab, there are opportunities there looking at the different mechanisms within the plant, the, the soil fertility, how it influences plant growth, uh, the, the dynamics of photosynthesis and how we can improve that process in today's germplasms. So the lab is definitely an opportunity, but obviously it all ties back to the field. So we've got to still have people working in the field, putting these crops in the ground, bringing them to maturity and harvesting them because in the end, it's all about the yield. That's what matters the most to farmers. Agronomists study all things plants, soil, and the environment. Classes include ecology, soil chemistry, weed science, entomology, and meteorology. The curriculum predominantly within agronomy is obviously gonna evolve around agricultural type classwork. So plant science, the study of plants, soil science, which is the interactions that the plant have with the soil. Weed science, uh, which is what I primarily do, trying to control weeds in these various cropping systems. And then just crop production uh, classes as well. In academia, with an undergraduate degree, we typically start out most of those people with a research technician type role. And really it's something that we try to, to move them or mold them into a graduate student type program. A, a, Really, if you're gonna be successful in the academic arena or in the industry for that matter, um, an advanced degree, a master's degree, or even a PhD would be required. Job opportunities are wide open for those in the field of agronomy. Some of the more common jobs are chemical sales, working for farmers cooperatives, doing farm consulting, helping farmers make everyday decisions uh, on their cropping systems. And then also there are career opportunities within the major chemical companies and then of course academics as well. We're really experiencing a shortage in the number of graduates coming through agricultural programs across the country. So we really need more students involved in ag. Right now we're experiencing about a 90% job rate where our students basically have jobs when they graduate college. No prior farming experience is needed to have a career in agronomy. I came from a farm family, uh, so it was never a question of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be involved in agriculture, but it is definitely not a requirement that you be from a family farm or even from a community that has agriculture. Agronomists tend to enjoy working outdoors, are driven by discovery, and enjoy collaboration. I get a lot of enjoyment out of my role here as a research scientist in that I quite literally get to see the fruits of my labor. At the end of the season, we get to see all these dynamics applied to crops, but the yield, the fruit, is what we're really going for. So whether it's soybean or cotton or corn, there's a lot of opportunities there, but we all have a common goal there, and that's to help the producers of America because farming is the backbone of America and we enjoy some of the healthiest, 
most abundant food source in the world. So we want to see that continue and being involved in agriculture can make that happen. If you would like to learn more, check with your local extension agent or go to msstate.edu. Someone has to be there to ensure that we feed the world. You can be that someone. Take care and keep learning. <laughs>